Roll call, Sue Simpson here, Martha Eldridge here, Sam's absent tonight. Um, open the meeting to public input. Yes, no public input. Okay. We have the minutes for the May 20th work session held up stay is last on May 20th. Make a motion to approve them. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have the minutes for the selectmen's meeting for May 20th. I make a motion that we approve these. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Have the town of Osby check voucher totals for the week of May 28th. Um, the payroll amount was 44,458.72. Accounts payable was 78,773.75. For the water and sewer payments was $5,683.97. Make a motion to approve them. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I have the check, vo check voucher totals for the week ending May 4th, uh, June 4th, sorry, $146,385.67. The accounts payable total is $1,153,333.36. Water and sewer payments was $7,442.86. Make a motion to approve them. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Have the payroll reimbursement from the Water and Sewer Department in the amount of $3,740.70. Make a motion to approve those. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a letter of commitment, six town ambulance services agreement. Richard R. Fortin, Chairman, Town of Eaton. Chairman Fortin, in accordance with our vote at a duly noticed meeting of our board held on June 3rd, 2019, we, the undersigned selectmen, for the town of Osby are hereby committed to participate with all other towns who similarly commit in the solicitation of proposals and the execution of a multi-year contract for the provision of ambulance services to our respective towns. We believe that participation in this joint effort is the most cost-effective way to provide the necessary emergency medical services and transport capabilities to our citizens, and we are looking forward to working with the other area towns in this regard. I make a motion to approve this Second. agreement. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. This is the transfer station work log, May 19th through May 25th. Sunday, 519, monitored the daily activity, 
sorted the recyclables. 520, monitored the daily activities, sorted the recyclables, shipped MSW container number one and demo container number three, and reset the empty containers. May 23rd, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables, produced one bale of aluminum cans. May 24, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables, produced one bale of cardboard, shipped MSW container number two and demo container number two and reset the empty containers. May 25th, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables. That went from May 19th to May 25th. And this is also the transfer station workload that's from May 26th to June 1st. May 26th, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables, produced one bale of cardboard. Monday the 27th was a holiday. May 30th, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables, shipped MSW container number one and demo containers number three, four, and five, cleaned the areas and reset the empty containers, helped put out a small fire in MSW container number one. May 31st, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables, shipped MSW container number two and demo container number six, cleaned the areas and reset the empty containers, produced one bale of plastic and one bale of paper. June 1st, monitored the daily activity, sorted the recyclables, produce one bale of cardboard. I have a yield tax levy warrant um, for $660.11 for William May, map 227, lot 16, I make a motion we approve this warrant for $660.11. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. I have a notice of intent to cut wood or timber. It's for Bradley A. Layton, trustee, map 242, lot two, name of access road, Chickville Road, acreage of lot 30.98 acres, and acreage of cut 15. The logger is timber, Timberland Logging out of Littleton. I make a motion, the taxes have been paid and there are no cemeteries. I make a motion that we approve this intent to cut. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. I have another notice of intent to cut wood or timber. This is for Bradley A. Layton, trustee, 
Map 243, Lot 7. Name of Access Road, Chickville Road. Acreage of Lot, 54. Acreage of Cut, 52. The logger is Timber. I think it's Timberworth logging. Yeah, it's, it's so faint, yeah. Timberworth, yeah. Walt logging out of Littleton. Taxes I paid, and there are no cemeteries. I make a motion that we approve this intent to cut. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a request for a clerical abatement. Um, map 29, lot 1, sub 80, location 110 Nichols Road for the tax year 2019 for Kim Agante. Um, the amount of the abatement is $129, and the assessing department uh, has granted. They have, they say it, it's okay to grant. I make a motion that we approve this abatement. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. I have another request for a clerical abatement. Map 29, Lot 1, Sub 80, 110 Nichols Road, for Kim Agete. And it's for $121. And it is recommended to be granted by the assessing department. I make a motion that we approve this abatement. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, this is a memo from the Public Works Director, Brad Harriman, uh, in reference to the plow package bids. I received three quotes for providing and installing a dump body, sander, front plow, wing plow, frames, hydraulics, and lights on both the Ford F-550 and the six-wheeler. There were three bids, and the lowest bidder was Viking Chai's for the Ford F550 of $47,065 and the six-wheeler $79,770. And he recommends that this, uh, these bids be awarded <coughs> both trucks to Viking Chives. I make a motion we approve this. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, we don't have to. I just have to initialize. So. <coughs> attached to that. 
The Ford F-550 was awarded the state bid price. There was a there was one problem that Ford came across earlier this year, and that was their supplier for fuel tanks. Ford couldn't get very many tanks. Therefore, they stopped taking orders back in the late winter. I've been searching for a cab and chassis that is on a lot and found one at Plymouth Ford. They will honor the state bid price. This truck has all of the components that we want, with the exception that this truck is white. They will hold this truck for a short time for us. The state bid price for the cab and chassis is 49163 My recommendation is to award the purchase at the Ford F550 to Plymouth Ford. Second. Make a motion. Sorry. Is there any other? I make a motion that we approve this. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. This time we'll do the department meetings. Kelly? Okay, I have our month of May reports. I will put them over here if anybody would like them. They're for the town clerk and the tax collectors. Reminder that July 1st is coming down. Taxes are due. We have had a few people come in and make payment plans for their back taxes. There's more people who would like to do it. And a reminder that come June 10th, there'll be additional fines put on for those dogs that have not been licensed. Joan? Okay, these are the statistics for May. There's going to be a little difference in the numbers from, I believe it was April. Um, April, we printed off a total dispatched call, so this, which is a significantly higher number, that's not included on this. This is just offenses that we took through the month of May, which totaled to be 182 total offenses uh, with 14 arrests, which is about, about average for us. And I will, I imagine that's going to increase as the summer months come. Summer months. Yep. Okay. Other than that, everything's going good. No complaints. Very good. Thank you. Well, I have actually extra copies of that. Anybody would like them. Paul? Start up uh, hopefully the end of this month. Good. 
Uh, we've got some inspections the 17th. Yeah. And Coleman, hopefully, we've got the okay to get on the property. Hopefully, we'll be on there Thursday. Very good. Okay. Maria, library. Uh, we will have our summer reading sign ups at the end of June, the week that week. Um, and we'll be starting our summer reading program at the beginning of July. Um, we have regular things going on for the month of June, our book discussion, um, okay. that kind of thing. So, if you want to finish yours? Uh, I have a wetlands permit application for 146 Hodgton Shore Road, map 73, lot 37. So it's a wetlands permit application. And then another wetlands permit application for 58 Ridge Road, map 35, lot 8. And where do they file these? It's selectman's office. So if anyone would like to see them, they'd be in the selectman's office. I'd like to make a motion to seal the non-public session minutes for RSA 91A colon 3 Roman numeral 2C and for a tax matter and an RSA 81A colon 3 Roman numeral 2 personnel. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. A copy of a selectman seed for property on map 130 Map 130, Lot 120, Subdivision, PM, located at 700 Route 16, consisting of zero acres of land, including any buildings thereon. Make a motion to approve this deed. Second it. All in favor? Aye. We have a corrective cemetery deed. The addition to the Chickville Cemetery for Chickville Cemetery Association in Osby, New Hampshire. This is a deed granting to Douglas and Dorothy Van Dyke, trustees of the Van Dyke Family Reverbuckle Trust at 155 Route 16. I make a motion we approve this. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Okay. <coughs> we have a memorandum of understanding for downtown and trails program through the New Hampshire Cooperative Extension. I make a motion we approve this. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have a notice of a decision from the Osby Planning Board, case number 19-2 SPRA, Melvin Village Marina. Matt Young of 801 Route 16, tax map 250, lot 7, was granted a site plan review amendment <coughs> for a 70 foot by 200 foot roofed boat storage racks and internal stormwater retention areas and a stormwater basin pond, along with approval for request waivers of 6.04.4D, 6.04.4. G3, 6.04.4 G4D, and 6.04.4 G4E from the site plan review regulations for all state and federal location. Regulations must be followed. We have two charter notices from 
uh, spectrum. <clears throat> I have a warrant for the Water and Sewer Department to collect $11,130 with penalties after July 10th, 2019. Thereafter, on all sums not paid on or before that date, I make a motion to approve this warrant. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Have the highway department work log for the week ending May 25th, Monday the 20th of 19. Checked all routes, cleaned up fallen trees on Pork Hill Road, started removing the bridge deck on Mill Hill Road, replaced the rear spring U-bolts in truck number eight, filled the voids with concrete along the edge of the upper section of Mill Hill Road, replaced the transmission pan on truck two. Tuesday, May 21st, <coughs> extended a 15-foot culvert on Lower Beecham Road, finished removing the bridge deck and built the gravel pads for the crane on Mill Hill Road. Continue repairing the voids with concrete along the edge of the upper section of Mill Hill Road. Graded the lower end of Pine Hill Road. Cleaned up trees on Blake Hill Road and Young's Road. Wednesday the 22nd. Chipped off the excess concrete on the bridge abutments and removed a dead tree on Mill Hill Road. Replaced the culvert on Sawyer Road, cleaned out a beaver dam on Chickville Road, graded, rolled, and put calcium chloride out on Nichols Road and Duncan Lake Road, cleaned up a tree on Walker Hill Road. Thursday, May 23rd, replaced a culvert on Blake Hill Road, graded and added gravel to Blake Hill Road where the culvert was replaced. Finished cleaning up the bridge abutments on Mill Hill Road. Started cleaning out the drains and culverts and hauling off the excess materials on Thurley Road. Graded and rolled, and rolled Guile Road. Installed the no engine brake signs on Duncan Lake Road. A speed limit sign on Huckin Street. And no through trucking signs on Granite Road. Highway Department work log ending June 1st. Monday was a holiday. Tuesday the 28th, checked all routes, replaced a culvert on Osby Mountain Road, repaired a section of the abutment on the bridge on Mill Hill Road, installed a missing no salt zone sign on Pork Hill Road, graded and rolled Bay Point Road, dug tires in at the dog park, repaired a washed out shoulder on Granite Road. Wednesday the 29th, installed a new culvert on Osprey Mountain Road, set the bridge deck, poured the grout into the keyways, and poured concrete into the gaps at the abutments, graded and rolled Levitt Road, Channel Road, Broad Bay, and Remley Road, helped build the border with six-by-sixes for the new playground at Constitution Park, installed the waterproof membranes, styrofoam, and placed gravel on the bridge deck on Mill Hill Road. Also opened the bridge to traffic, cleaned out the ditch lines and hauled off the excess materials on Austin Mountain Road, installed the no-through trucking signs on Granite Road, Fogs Ridge Road, Simon Hill Road, and Clough Road, finished grading and rolling the roads in the bay. <clears throat> Old business. Do you have anything? A so. new business. I would like to introduce Angela Rizanto, is a new secretary that now works in the selectman's office. She will be doing the minutes for the selectman's meetings in the future. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> and open the meeting to any pub in pub public input. Ash. Uh, first up, thank you for uh, signing the MOU for the UNH Co-op Extension. Uh, I look forward to working with them. Um, as far as the sidewalks go, I know they diverted attention to the bridge down on Mill Road. Yep. Uh, any updates on that? Not that I'm aware of. I, I, I believe, I'm speaking with Brad last week, they were going to put all the attention to getting that project finished, and then yeah. I believe they were going to move on to the sidewalk as, as long as it was the yeah. 
the board's intention to move forward with yeah. the project as planned. Yeah. I did want to say that I went over to Constitution Park and the new playground equipment is very nice. It's almost all installed and it's a big addition to the park. So, any more public input? Uh, Wednesday night we have a meeting with the joint meeting with the budget committee at the freight house on Moultonville Road at 6.30 if anybody is welcome to attend. Being no further no, won't entertain a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. So we're done. So